Hey, what's up everybody? It's Gamers with Reason, and this video is over a subject that I usually never talk about. Um, I've never really used any Apple-related products, but um, I've recently made a discovery of something that would be a good reason to get one, and something that's actually a good investment in a lot of ways. So, um, uh, <coughs> for everybody out there that um, uh, has ever thought about getting a 27-inch monitor because, um, uh, with a 25, 60 by 1600 or close enough resolution, um, this is actually a good investment because, as you should know, those monitors sell around for like a little bit more than 800 to a little bit over a thousand. So it's around that price range, and most of them are LCD. Nearly none of them, or maybe none of them, um, uh, are LED backlit. So what I've noticed is a lot of 27-inch iMacs are selling for around 1300 to 1500. Sometimes a little bit more, but mainly around 1300 1500 Sometimes a little bit less than 1300 But um, it's around that price range, and it's only a little bit more. And there's a lot of reasons you should absolutely do this, because it's a, it's a huge value. It's a great bang for the buck. And uh, one of the reasons is simply because you're getting a computer out of it. You're getting a computer that's going to have around 4, 6, 8 gigs of RAM, a quad-core processor, a 500 gigabyte or 1 terabyte hard drive, and a half gig or 1 gigabyte um, uh, graphics card. And uh, that's, that's decent enough, really. With those specs, you could do some pretty decent gaming on it. You know, if you don't want to use the Mac operating system, just wipe it off and put Windows on it. That's, and, uh... <coughs> If you want to, if you do, if you are going to be using it for gaming or anything, and if you already have a computer or something that's even more bad or awesome, you can just hook it up through the back because there's an HDMI port on the back of them, and just plug in anything, PS3, Xbox, or 60, Blu-ray player, or a computer, and you could use it as a monitor. So, so that's awesome. And you could use the computer itself as either a backup computer, a server, or a main computer. All in all, there's no reason not to do this, especially considering most of those are LED backlit. So, look at it this way. For a couple hundred to a few hundred dollars difference, you're getting one computer, two, you're getting an upgrade on the monitor, so you're going to have an LED monitor that has better coloring, probably uh, more realistic games for games, and much brighter and more sharpened more crisp display. And another one is because you're getting a pretty good machine or computer out of it. And you could use it for just about anything, really. You know? Or you could just use it for storage. You know? <laughs> one terabyte hard drive, heck yeah. And don't don't forget the hard drive prices are extremely high right now. One terabyte hard drives are around ugh, cheapest ones are around like 105, 109. The good ones are 160. So let's just do an example right here. Let's just say you're going to buy like a one thousand or eleven hundred dollar monitor. Let's say eleven hundred. Okay. There's <coughs> there's a hundred. Let's just say one hundred and fifty for the hard drive. So that makes it go up to twelve fifty. And also there is the uh, I guess you could say a hundred to two hundred dollar upgrade for an LED monitor. I would say all in all, that's definitely a good investment. You know, I never thought of anything possible like this, but and it was I, I was happy to share this with you guys because I know a lot of you people are kind of shy of getting a 27-inch monitor, and this is actually a good reason to get one or get an iMac with a 27-inch display. I'm a, all the iMacs with the uh, monitor size of lo less than 27 inches do not have an as high resolution, so I'd highly prefer not to get them, but. If you want, or if it's on sale or something, then you could use it for a decent computer, but it wouldn't be a nearly high as high of a bang for the buck as the 27-inch models would. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.